Pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have got a very exciting video. In today's video, we are going to be building the perfect, most ultimist whoop drone. And that is right, it is all centered around the brand new, hot off the press, BLV4 Crossfire built in it is an F411 with a 12 amp ESC, a 400 milliwatt VTX. If you don't know what any of this means, just know that it is hot. You're not going to want to miss this. Let's go. All right, pilots, so here's the deal. A while back, and it's, it's probably been quite a while, Newbie Drone sent me this BLV3 whoop drone and man look how sharp that is this thing is super cool brushless motors stack vtx built-in elrs camera on the front mounted strong i mean i've been flying this forever and look at it it's in perfect condition no cracks no breaks i haven't needed any replacements and watch this this is the kicker if you haven't seen the video i'll actually link it for you but watch this boom how cool is that it's like lit up with LEDs and those are nothing more than the regular LEDs that belong on the flight controller. Well, the all-in-one. This thing is incredible. So I've just been blown away by this and I thought, you know, with this new stack out, let's do a build video. So up front and on the center, we've got the B-Brain BLV4 and notice that says CRSF. That means crossfire. So we're gonna crack this puppy open. Oh, oh, okay. Immortal T, VTX antenna, everything. Oh my God. <laughs> We've got our USB connector, motor plugs. We've got a heat sink on top. This is gorgeous. Holy cow. <laughs> All right. And then, of course, you have your motor pad options. If you wanted to go ahead and solder up your motors, that way you don't have to worry about them unplugging or breaking a connector. This thing's 98 bucks with everything on it ready to go. You've got a 25 by 25 mounting pattern, just like every other Whoop drone stack in the world. We've got a five watt by 25 watt switching VTX. And if you run Smart Max, guess what? 400 watts. <laughs> 411 microprocessor on board. That's gonna be this big, beautiful beauty right here. <laughs> and then we've got our 12 amp BL Heli S ESC built in on board and you're going to see that right here if I flip it over you've got your microcontrollers here we've got all of our MOSFETs tucked up under here MOSFETs tucked up under here I actually think we should take a quick split second and let's jump into the scope just 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 for a second no, nothing crazy let's just let's take a quick peek oh my god pilots look at this <laughs> Is that not a busy stack or what? This is why I know, I know we got a lot to do right now, but I just had to throw this in the scope and show you guys what's going on. Oh my God. There's our plugs for our motor connections. These are the MOSFETs I was telling you about. So you're gonna have three per leg. One, two, three probably belongs right here. And one, two, three is gonna belong right here. We've got our microprocessors. We've got our heat sink. I'm gonna imagine that's right on top of our VTX to keep everything nice and cool. If I flip it over, there's that big, beautiful F411 we were just talking about. See right there, 411. Oh my God, look at this. There's our boot button, possibly bind button. Yep, that is our bind button right there. So we're gonna be using that to bind this up. How incredible. Look at that. Okay, crossfire on board. There's those soldering pads I was telling you about. This is a UFL connector for our crossfire. And then we've got another UFL connector for our VTX. And this is being called a BTX. And not B like the letter B. B like B-E-E -E because it's the new B drone. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get, get out of this scope. 
And although I did purchase the connector that we need, this is the PH 2.0 clear battery lead. I bought one right here, got it ready to go for my build. And surprise, surprise, just in case you're gonna build one, it comes with it on board. You can still buy one to have as a spare or if you don't like the red maybe, but it's not needed. All right, inside of the box, we're gonna have all of our grommets, we're gonna have all of our screws, everything we need to go ahead and connect everything up and get it together. Let's go ahead and move through the rest of the parts real quick so you know what's about to happen okay so right here bam, important piece of the puzzle let's go ahead and crack these puppies open so these are the brand new newbie drone flows 0802 27,000 kv with a dual ball bearing <laughs> that's right they've got the dual ball bearing and gosh look how beautiful so we've got our mounting screws man those are small that's <laughs> that ought to be fun to get connected even so tiny, they got style and swag. Look at that. Man, what a beautiful color. It's almost like a chocolate gunmetal. Oh, now nah, that's more of a, uh, what is that? A brushed nickel maybe? All right, well, anyways, we are running the one millimeter shaft. You've got three mounting holes right here on the bottom. You can see where everything is soldered up. So God forbid you messed up your wires or needed new wires. You can solder right there and solder right here and you would be back in the air. So don't stress it. Plus these are fairly cheap. I got this entire four pack for just $45.99. All right, so coming up next, we've got our Cockroach 65 frame. Hmm, nothing special. It's just the brushless cockroach 65 millimeter. And I went ahead and went with the teal color because I think that that's going to look sharp. All right. And for our propellers, we're going to be using the Aussie tri-blade 31 millimeter whoop blades. These are a three blade. That's why they call them tri-blade. They have a one millimeter shaft, so they'll fit on the motors just perfectly. And I went ahead and went with the teal color to complement my frame. Bow. That is beautiful. And one of the last pieces of the puzzle is going to be this BI Nano. It is a 600 TVL camera. It has a 20 millimeter mounting. It is a decent and nice camera. Very, very small, it should fit just about anywhere, and it will just be a plug and play ordeal. So really nothing fancy here, but it is a nice little camera all wrapped up in one little tiny package. And really, no matter which base you go with, you're going to need a canopy. So I went with the all new Goober Canopy. I got it in clear because I just love the way those colors shine through, but it is in clear. So that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and dive into this build. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is crack open our frame <laughs> so look at that all right pilots if you have never built a whoop drone you can follow along with me and you can build your own otherwise let's get her done so the first thing we're going to want to have nearby is our motor screws this is a very tiny baggie i'm going to go ahead and open this bag up and i'm going to pour all my screws right here and it's not like a big quad build where you need to worry about Loctite and all those things. I believe our connector is going to be Phillips, so I need to find a driver that uh, will grab well because you don't want to be stripping out screws. That is very important. And I'm going to put that in the top right hand corner and I'm going to align it over these holes. I'll go ahead and slide my screw through one of the holes. Boom and then right into the motor. And we're not gonna we're not gonna go crazy. We're just gonna snug it up so it holds it in place. Then I'm gonna come back around to this side. Now that it's held, I'll grab another screw, load it into my weapon of choice, and then, all right, so now our motor ain't going nowhere because it's got two screws holding it, but we absolutely wanna put the third one in. I mean, these aren't big screws. It's not a big frame not big motors so and you don't need to kill it no need to kill it just snug everything up nice and snuggy there you go so that is motor one mounted and looking good so i'm going to go ahead and get the other three motors put on real quick there's really no need for you to watch this process <laughs> oh 
yeah. Got our motors on and looking good. I cannot wait to fly this thing. All right, so let's go ahead and flip it over. And as you can see, I went black, red, red, black. And that's just to keep everything kosher. I mean, not that big of a deal. Go ahead and give them a little spin because you definitely want to keep them together. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our canopy. And I'm sure there's a special order for this, but hey, my build, my way. Here's our screws for our canopy. Okay, now that we have our goober canopy out, we're gonna go ahead and get our camera, and we wanna go ahead and mount that. Get that in there and mount it so that part is done. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and slide our camera through, and then we're going to, see this little groove right here? I don't know if you can see that. There's a little groove that the camera lens pops into. Now we're gonna drop in this bracket that comes with it. There's your bracket and double screws. We are good and we are looking good. All right, they gave you an extra screw, I guess, in case you lose it or whatever. And the same with the motor screws. We got two extra motor screws just in case. But we are ready to move on to the next step and that is gonna be prepping our stack. So let's go ahead and get our stack pulled in. We're gonna need all of the screws from our stack. Bloop. And although this is small, tiny, finicky things to work with, because everything is just so little, uh, it's still fairly simple, you know? Everything is plug and play. We shouldn't need a soldering iron. Let's go ahead and place our stack on here. And I'm gonna do that by feeding this power cable right through this pocket here. And then I'm gonna place everything on these little tiny little stack mounting posts boom look at that that is a beautiful flush fit so i'm going to pull this off to the side right here and let's go ahead and take our motor wires and we're going to plug those in and you don't have to be too brute you know because you can break these things. And the last one. Holy cow, that beats going around a quad and soldering up four motors. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these and I'm going to get a little twist with my tweezers. All we have left now is to get our canopy up and on board. Let's slide this out of the way. Now, if we look at our canopy, we're going to notice that there's one, two, three mounting and not one in the front. So that means we're going to want to take our mounting screws and we're going to want to get ahead of the game and mount our first one right up here. And then I'll show you. Kind of very hard to see, but you're going to notice right here is a little arrow that's facing this way. This is the front. Boom. Okay. All right, now let's spin this around. Let's spin this around. Now we need to plug in our camera and mount all of our connectors. So we already know that our VTX is gonna go out this hole right here. Boom. We know our camera has to plug into this plug right. Chaw. God, everything is so small. Plugging that camera in is no joke. Gosh, okay. And last but not least is going to be our Immortal T. And I'm going to see about just sliding that through right there. What do we think of that? Oh, I like it. That is perfect. It really can't hit the props. Unless I need to try to go behind here. Oh. Maybe that's a possibility. Right there. There we go. I like that. Whether I move that or not, I still need to come in with my mounting screws. Once you have one holding it down, it's pretty easy from there. <laughs> Welcome to the ultimate whoopity. <laughs> okay. I am stoked. All right, let's go ahead and grab a quick battery. Let's do a quick power-up test, huh? <laughs> As you know, I'm lit. <laughs> All 
All right, let's go ahead and grab some propellers and get some properitos on. So in a bag, you get exactly four, just like any other set of props. So let's go ahead and pop that on. Oh, that is the good life right there. Oh, no prop nuts, no nothing, huh? Last but not least, our fourth propeller. Boom. How cool is that? And then I've got the teal props on the brush nickel motors with the teal frame. We are rocking out. I've got plenty of batteries. I can't wait to get this going. I've got my Radio Master TX16S with the Crossfire Micro in the back. I am stoked. We're going to go ahead and get this bound. I'm going to go ahead and jump in a beta flight. I'm going to set that thing up. I'm going to check my videos. I'm going to run my old Dom V3s. I haven't used those in a while. We're going to get all that set up. And then we're going to go ahead and rip ourselves some packs. So stay tuned for the flight video. I hope that you guys had as much fun as I did. I hope that you guys will go build your own ultimate whoopee with a built-in crossfire. And I will see you on the next one. We go forever now. We go forever and ever, yeah. you know that I'm much sadder yeah. You can say you can do better, uh. no, no, I won't let em, uh. We go forever and ever, yeah. I gon' create the pressure yeah. You can say you can do better, uh. you can say you can do better yeah. I know that I can do better, I'm so in love with the chatter I'm so in love with my little boo, it was written like a letter Think I was born with the juice, think I was born with the sauce Think I was born a little crazy, then I turned out to a boss Gotta, gotta go and get it Keep running up the digits Lost my mind, I gotta fix it Kill the beat, cold killing Need to change the way I'm living Never sleeping, I'm tripping This is forever and ever We live forever and ever, yeah We go forever and ever, yeah You know that I'm a your setter, yeah You would say you can do better, uh. no, no, I won't let em, uh. We go forever and ever, yeah I go and create the pressure, yeah You would say you can do better, uh. You would say you can do better, yeah Since a teen, no pillow talk, no tea. Out the way, keep it cheap. Shotty told me she a freak. Wap, wap, straight E. We go forever and ever, yeah. You know that I'm a your setter, yeah. You would say you can do better, uh. No, no, I won't let em, uh. We go forever and ever, yeah. I go and create the pressure, yeah. You would say you can do better, uh. You would say you can do better, yeah. We go forever and ever, yeah. You know that I'm a your setter, yeah. You would say you can do better, uh. No, no, I won't let em, uh. We go forever and ever, yeah. Create the pressure, yeah. You would say you can do better, uh. You would say you can do better, yeah. yeah. Ooh, we go forever and ever. Out the way, keep it cheap. Shawty told me she a freak. Wap, wap, straight E. We go forever and ever, yeah. You know that I'm a your setter, yeah. You would say you can do better, uh. No, no, I won't let em, uh. We go forever and ever, yeah. I go and create the pressure, yeah. You would say you can do better, uh. You would say you can do better, yeah. We go forever and ever, yeah. You know that I'm a your setter, yeah. You would say.